everyone, Shelly Rael, Registered Dietitian Nutritionist with Eat, Live, Be Well Nutrition. And I will share today a little bit about the idea of changing the pH of our body. Now there's a lot of things out there where people talk about having an acid or something like vinegar that they consume on a regular basis or even something like alkaline water that they consume so they can have some kind of health benefit. And this idea behind promoting such products is that it'll change the pH of our body so it can hinder or help with reducing risk, reduce risk of certain disease or hinder a disease from happening, help with certain health benefits. Here's something that a lot of people just aren't sharing. We do not have control over the pH of our body. Different parts of our body have different pH. The stomach has a very much very low pH. It's a very acidic environment, but it is meant to be that way. The rest of our body is mostly neutral in that 7.2, 7.4 range. And if that changes, we got a serious problem. We, If we go outside that very neutral range throughout most of our body, the blood, etc., we are dead. So we do not want to actively change the pH of our body. That is a very serious medical condition of all, men, all kinds, depending on which way that pH goes. And what a lot of people are profiting from and taking advantage of people is that implying that we can change the pH of our body by drinking a specific water, eating a certain food. It just doesn't work that way. And this has been true since as long as human beings have been alive. We just can't do that. So when we consume something, it goes into our stomach already. What happens in the stomach is that environment becomes very much more acidic. It can't change. No matter what we put in there, that pH of that substance is going to become acidic as it's being broken down. That's what the stomach does. And then when things leave the stomach, there's a specific enzyme that comes from the pancreas to buffer that. And what we have when we take an acid to help buffer that or neutralize it, there's a base or something more alkaline. And that is a substance, an enzyme, or not an enzyme, but a substance, the pancreas secretes. You probably have heard of it before. We call it bicarbonate, otherwise in outside world, baking soda. And these are systems that our body does to take care of this all the time. And if something happens in our body where the pH is going a little off, things that protein does within the body helps neutralize that. So what I want to share with you is just save your money. And if you want to have something that's a little more alkaline, Maybe take an Alka-Seltzer or add a little baking soda to your water if you have an upset stomach. But we cannot change the pH of our body. That's a fact. I'd love to have your comment on this. Like, share this post, do, it with, you, do with it what you will. And I'd like to hear feedback from you. Take care. Bye for now.